share this channel on the internet. And here we go with the show and we're at the Miami airport getting ready to launch for our Bahama vacation. And this is brought to you by Navagari Yachty and it's gonna have multi episodes. So make sure your notifications are turned on. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, make sure to subscribe. It's exciting, exciting. Don't know what to expect. So we're walking through the maze. We done visit every corner of the Miami airport. Look at this. We're in another section now. So you're getting a full tour. Yeah, everybody's still halfway to sleep. Are you guys excited? Check out Gabby's new hairstyle. Woo! My blondie. I'm telling you, daughter. So you guys excited? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Very excited. But look at his new hairstyle. Turn oh to the side. Oh my gosh, she got it on fire with a lawnmower. Hey. With a lawnmower. And the lawnmower one, bro. Yeah. And who's this guy? He needs a haircut. He's the only one. He has oh, a, he forgot to brush his hair he when he woke wig. up this morning. So we just made checkpoint one. We made it into the actual departure area, right? Yes, sir. We went through TSA. Yes, sir. We made it in in about 20 minutes or less, right? 20 minutes. But That's you... a miracle in Miami Airport. Yes. Wow. It's been a long time I haven't been to Miami Airport and it's a complete different change. I feel like I'm in another place. Pretty cool. I like got right there. Yeah. You know how it is, my peoples, they gotta have, they gotta have their coffee. She's about to go to sleep, even with the coffee. Check your passport, make sure your She's still about to fall asleep. Wow, you went to sleep at 3 30 in the morning? When you said, when I heard the alarm go off, I was like, oh my god, I just went to sleep. It's like, you felt like two seconds. Wow, that's crazy. So, this plane is a little smaller than your normal Airbus. So, the regular carry on is a little too big. So, they had to check in. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, look at this, look at this terminal, guys. <laughs> We're right on the road. We're actually on the runway. Wow, this is a different experience. Francisco got his own private jet. Did you guys know that? Yeah, boy, look at this town. I'm gonna take some extra people with me. That's right. This is the first time ever doing this. I you don't like small planes? I don't even like the big planes. Look at that little plane, boy. Woo -hoo. Oh <laughs> you guys get ready. Uh oh, look at that. You ready? I'm gonna go sit with the pilot. I'm gonna sit down with the pilot. Wow, it's tight. <laughs> you ready? This is the smallest plane we've ever been in. In case you're there for a few days, the rest of the week basically high 70s. Small plane. Small plane. So fasten your seatbelts and hold on to your seats and let's take the show to the air. And according to the flight plan, we should be there an hour and 10 minutes. And this is going to be once in a lifetime experience for us. Because you guys already know that I want to travel the world on a boat. And thanks to Navagari Yachting, we're getting the opportunity to see how it feels to live on a boat for 4 days. And explore the waters of the Bahamas. But it's not going to be Bimini, which today we're flying into Abaco, Bahamas. The flight was so fast that it felt like 20 minutes. Here we go, we're getting off the Airbus. Ooh, this is good. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Look at this. So we made it in one piece. And yeah, my hydro sport is going to get shipped out here. Yeah, actually, it's good. I thought it was going to be cold. How was your flight, madam? Did you Good. survive? Pretty uneventful. Thank yeah. God. She was sleeping the whole ride and it was like 25 minutes. She sleeps on the plane too. Nah, it was quick, it was quick. Yeah. Now nah, we're doing customs. Okay. So oh, the other one over there? Oh good. You can split up? Yeah, I guess. One over. 
Oh, look at that. She's driving the opposite side. Or maybe we're on the opposite Shana? side. Yeah, I can call you back. Yeah. I'm going to call you right back. So this is a real experience of the Highlands Mine. Can't get no better than this. Right? Yeah, so we're pulling up to Navagari uh, office. And this is great. We're at the Abacos. We just landed. This is a place called Snappers. I guess we'll be eating there. <laughs> this is pretty cool. First of all, you excited? Yes, sir. I got the most important package right here. Yeah. You know what this is? The this is gonna catch us. Gonna catch us dinner. All right, guys. So we just went over to the store and picked up our food for the few days that we're gonna be out in the water. Cause once we leave, we ain't coming back. We ain't coming back. Yep. This is gonna be one in a lifetime experience. For us and for you guys, you guys are gonna experience it through my camera. This is awesome here. Uh, and for me, this is something very unique because I wanna travel the world on a catamaran. She's gonna try to get on the boat without falling. Oh, she made it without falling. That's awesome. I made it. She made it without falling. All right, now the trick is, are you going to get in the water? Yeah, because the water's kind of chilly. But yeah, look at this. The kids are already doing their thing. Look at this. We haven't been, been left port. Hey, look at him. Look at that. We haven't left port. They got snappers on there? For real? They're biting it. Look, look. You see them? Nah, use, uh, use real bait. I'm going to get one because they're, they're hitting it good. They're just not getting hooked. That's what you call love for fishing. <laughs> and later on, I'm gonna take you guys a tour through the boat, but right now we're in the galley area. And this is amazing. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, look at this, the co-host. How you doing, Mari? How is it? I'm guys, I'm vlogging. Uh-oh, she's doing her own video. So it's gonna be entertaining. And look at her, that sugar addiction, it's too much. It's too good. Coffee and sugar. Yeah, oh, coffee yeah. and sugar. She can live on that the rest of her life. I mean, look, I'm behaving. No coke for me. We can do s'mores. Only water. We got sitan going like asada. We did about an hour and 20 minutes grocery shopping for the... Yes. <laughs> wow. for, the, for the four day experience. Yes, sir. Check this out. Look, look. I'm going to show you what's going on behind the scenes that you guys didn't see. I'm going to turn the camera around. Look at that. How many did you... Uh, uh, make Five. Sure you we brought five oh, sure rods huh? from Miami, baby. We're gonna do some Bahama fishing. Check it out. Woo! Yes, sir. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to the islands around here and, uh, you know, jump on the dinghy and do some fishing. Cause we're planning to eat fish, right? You guys Hopefully. gonna fish? Hopefully. Trust. We're gonna eat some fish because now we're gonna starve because we're doing a survivor weekend. We're gonna live off the, off the water. So they better do some fishing, because if not, we're gonna starve. Are you gonna eat fish? No, she's not gonna eat fish. And what do you guys think about this awesome experience? And you know you could do it too. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below, and you guys could also enjoy sailing at the Bahamas with Navagari. In the moment we all have been waiting for the launch off, we're leaving from Marsh Harbor Conk Marina and it's the beginning of our four day voyage on this beautiful 48 foot catamaran valley named Happy Day and we have Marquis as our captain for the four days. take you guys for a little tour that I'm not removing look at this I think this is gonna be my spot where Fresco is right now because this is just look how wide this boat is 
super wide. Oh, look at you. Got a little sitting area right there. Yeah, man. I'm chilling. This is where Jack was like, I can fly. <laughs> so look at this. So we're cruising. Look, let's go inside. Look. This is the best part. You come in, you walk right through, and you have just water views everywhere. Look at this. This is just amazing. So how long you been doing this? I've been doing this uh, going on five years. Five years? Yeah. Um, when I first got my captain's license, I was like, oh, never get me to see. And I just felt like down to the port side and this is our first room that we have here here we go this is the first room look at this he got his own bathroom and look at this with an awesome view and we're moving we're moving he got his own bathroom check it out boom and that's the cruise quarters there but let's go check out the other room and here's the galley here look at this Amazing. Look at that. Let's go check out this side. We're gonna go. Oh, look at this. The kid, this is a, one of the kids' room. And you know how it is, they already got it all messy, but check it out. Look. Woo! Right through the water. Awesome. And then they, they also have their own bathroom. Right there. And this is the actual shower right here look at that they got their own shower and who do we have here we got big mama cleaning up this is our suite for the four days how do you like it this you this know what i like my room my you, room you know what's the best thing i like about this look at this look at this guys we're cruising look at that, look at that. Look at that. so this is our room check it out Right here, and look, look, look at this. We can get out through here if we want and go to the back. But look at this. This is something I've never seen. That's the water right there. Look. So we can actually go under the boat when we stop and go swimming. Maybe if the water's not too cold, we'll go in. Oh, let me show you guys our bathroom. This is our bathroom here. We got our own shower. Pretty nice size boat with his own window. And we got, let's check out our, this the is our. The bed was made beautifully. When yes, we, but she, when we got jumped, here, but she fell asleep. I didn't sleep last night, so. Okay, so okay. check out our, that's our, I guess our toilets area. A closet. The sink. We, got we got a closet. This is something you can live on, right here. This is amazing, right here. All right, let's keep looking around the boat. Let's go, let's go, come on. Oh, how do you like it, madam? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And let's go. Okay. So, check out. Look at this. It's just amazing. Look at that. We're cruising. And there it is. Look at that, guys. This is paradise. Walk through here. Woo. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And I love the sea air travels through the whole boat. Look at that. Here's the bike. Now, isn't that amazing? Look at this. They're fishing off the back of that boat. They're ready to go. Oh, look at this. You know you fall on water when you stop it. You fall, we ain't picking you up. Now we are arriving at Elbow Key, where Hope Town is located. And here we have the famous lighthouse that they still use and it still uses kerosene to light up. And the sun is starting to set so we're looking for a spot inside the cove so it blocks some of the wind. Or better said, a morning buoy. So this is 
elbow key, so like an elbow. Mm -hmm. And the island is named Hope Town. And this is where some of the first loyalists settled after the American Civil War. They settled this island back in like 1804, something like that. Wow, all right. Well, it's so, been around for a while here. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's definitely all native. All native. First try. First try, here we go. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Never there seen that. Go. That was pretty cool. Flying, it's called the flying bull now. Oh, okay. So that's, that's the fastest way to tie. What you And here we go. Joel was allowed to use the dinghy. So you know what that means? That He's awesome. gonna go fishing. Hey, make sure the plug didn't, I didn't pull out the plug. Nah. So, make, hey, make sure you guys catch fish. Not no dinner. I'm gonna catch a, uh, we're gonna catch a coat. Catch a coat. Wait, where's the other camera? He has, I got it. Are you giving me that one? No, 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 he has that one. All right, All right so make sure everybody's on fish and now we have no dinner. Peace! In the Middle Day East. One. Day one, fishing trip one. Hey, we ain't bringing no water, no food, no nothing. No food, no, food, no water. We're back in an hour, it's gonna get dark. Yeah, right. make some sushi on the boat real quick. Oh man, we're gonna make sushi on the boat? So yeah. Yo, we're taking a little fishing trip real quick out here in Abaco, Bahamas. We are on the dinghy right now. To... We forgot our third rod. That's what I said. I'm not fishing. He's yeah. not fishing? Big coral reef wall. Look at that, guys. Alright, you wanna go on the other side? Get across from there. But if you do, don't get close to that. We don't know if it. Yeah, there's no space in between. No. calmer on this side of the island, right? Yeah. We saw a cave earlier over there. Guys, we think we find a little sun. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh no, you're stuck, you got stuck. I noticed as soon as you did the thing. Damn. Wait, just pull the boat closer. I got bit. You got bit there. I got a nice little porgy on. Good old uh, 11 inch or 10 inch. I'm gonna keep them for at least something. Had something a little ceviche or something. So we're here in the best part of the boat because people know me already that I love food and we're trying something different that Samara is doing for us. She's doing what I'll call it island rice. What is it? We just don't want some white rice. We have a lot of butter, we have some seasoning, we have some garlic, and yeah. Oh, good we to got, go. We can let it go, go. down, simmer it down. So the only things go. that are a little different that well the way we eat it, she had put butter. So it's gonna be different. We'll yeah. see. Oh my god. wondering about the rice it tastes pretty good the only difference is they add butter and their own spices 
but it tastes amazing and overall the food looked great and it tastes good too but the best part that Oquita liked was that she didn't have to cook it and this is our first day with our first dinner and we were very impressed and if you're wondering about the kids well they only brought back one fish luckily Samara had cooked up something for us but we're not gonna give up because we still have a few more days to try our luck fishing and find our own food get ready for more episodes of our Bahama mini series aboard this beautiful 48 foot valley brought to you by Navagari Yachting and Fresco channels and if you want to have an experience like this with your own family Navagari Yachting can make it happen and I'm gonna leave the link on the description below and don't go away and make sure to check your notifications because we have more episodes on the way